Sup mates, welcome back to Art and Fun with Nathan and Basco. Today's video is another Kung Fu Panda video, but there is a twist here. I'm going to make a review because I did watch the movie. You got it right, guys. So, let us go. So guys, two things you need to know before watching this video. This video can contain spoilers, plus it might be the shortest video I have ever made. So guys, the movie starts with Tai Lung's entry and the theme of the entry matches to the entry of Kung Fu Panda 2, how we see Lord Shen. And after that we see Po like the renovation of the hotel and then as we see master shifu sees that how he's use uh, how po is using the wisdom stuff or sorry the stuff of wisdom and then he tells that it's time for him to become the spiritual leader we all know that and po was reluctant at first because he said that it was difficult for him to become the next Uguay and Master Shifu should be one instead. And like we had seen in Kung Fu Panda Part 1, they do uh, they do uh, start a program to choose the new Dragon Warrior, but Po couldn't choose any one of them, like how Master Uguay did. And then we see that it just stretches for a little bit. And I can tell you, the first half was a little boring because it did uh, like stretch a little bit whereas the second half started getting interesting that is after the interview there were many details of the movie that were predictable that is in the first half when Po reaches Juniper City with Zen we see that the f we feel that like to a a point of the movie, we have four things that he's going to defeat Chameleon. But the reason for Zen getting Po to the Chameleon's so called palace, Zen's idea was to get Po till the palace so that she could take the staff of wisdom from him when Po gets arrested, that is, caught by a Chameleon's trap, and she could just steal it and give it to the Chameleon. Which was quite predictable, but the way they did it, the animation was better. And guys, ultimately Zen feels that Chameleon is doing a really bad thing and she then joins forces with Po. They do defeat the Chameleon. But this time guys, Zen had quite much role, more than Po. Yes, you heard it right guys, Zen did have much role more than Po and there was not much action that we see in other Kung Fu Panda movies like Take It Part 1, Part 2 or Part 3 and Po did use his skidoosh move but using the wisdom stick by a move that was roll, move the stick and then skidoosh the same way like how we had seen in the trailer he teaches that to Zen and they both team up and finish off of the Canadian and guys there's the best scene of the whole movie which I liked was when the chameleon summons all the villains Tai Lung did not help Po like how I did mention in the video but they all give Po equal amount of respect in the end like you might be thinking how can they give respect see guys at first when when Tai Lung sees the chameleon with the vis, uh, staff of wisdom, Tai Lung was quite shocked because the chameleon had summoned him first and he was like, why would Po give him the staff? And then the chameleon takes his powers and then they do, like Po and Tai Lung meet each other and he, was, he tells Po that you were never meant to be the dragon warrior, it, it was an accident. But, at, but when... Tai Lung sees 
before defeating the chameleon he does give him he does give him a little amount of respect so it is a family movie and i feel that i would out of 5 if you ask me i would give it those to 4 and not a 4.5 usually i have a habit of giving kung fu panda movies at least a 5 or a 4.6 but i'll just give it 4 and if you take the other villains like shen lord shen and kai they were not given like equal amount of importance apart from tailand there was another villain called scott and according to that he was considered to be the fire spitting crocodile which was kind of new to me because i have not seen the kung fu panda uh, series that used to come in nickelodeon channel in television and i've even not seen kung fu panda dragon knight so if you have seen them then maybe you might know who scott the fire spitting crocodile but i felt that too much preference was given to tai lung but i feel that maybe that's right because the franchise had started out with him and had to end with him so don't be too surprised when you see lord shen bowing to po and even for a matter of fact general kai so guys overall i would give the movie i guess 4 out of 5 and out of 10 if you ask me i might just give it close to i can say 7 out of 10 7 out of 10 and if you have wait i'm forgetting someone sorry so guys here's my partner and actually he was sleeping i dragged him into this he does like kung fu panda so when it comes in any of the ott platforms he will be seeing it but for now if you have liked this video please do like share and important thing guys subscribe subscribe right basco huh so he is also saying please subscribe thank you